Hey guys, Rich Pollution here with another episode of Toku Tuesdays on the Nerd Revolution. If you have not been reading Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the comic or Go Go Power Rangers, you have truly been missing out. They have been going full steam ahead since the beginning of these releases. To celebrate the 25th anniversary of Power Rangers, they're going to be doing a comic book series known as The Shattered Grid. This will take place over comic books number 25 and 26 of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, as well as Go Go Power Rangers. In addition to this, there will be two one-shots. Today, they actually announced the variant covers for number 26. So I kind of wanted to summarize the whole entire thing, as well as show everybody the variants in one video. So what is the premise of the Shattered Grid? Lord Dracone has decided that he's going to try and destroy the Morphing Grid. Now, this not only threatens our current series of Power Rangers, but it, all of the Power Rangers as a whole. So they all have to team up and go and battle Lord Dracone and save the Morphing Grid. I predict that Time Force is going to play a large role in this, especially since Lord Dracone is threatening the existence of time by messing with the Morphing Grid. What's great about this is we're going to see all of our rangers from Mighty Morphin on, all the way through Ninja Steel. I wonder if they're going to incorporate the movie rangers in there too, as an alternate universe. I mean, this is a comic book. That would be really cool if they do. I haven't seen any pictures with the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger movie characters, um, so I don't know if that's going to happen, but it would be really neat if they did that. So let's get into the variant covers. So here we have a variant cover for number 25. You can see the main rangers from MMPR, Lord Dracone, and all the various rangers from the other seasons on this cover. It's interesting to note, if you look in the upper left corner, it looks like the chameleon ranger from Koo Ranger is up there, which is the Super Sentai series currently in Japan that people are speculating they are going to bring over to the US as the next season. Down here you can see the Phantom Ranger, the Sentinel Ranger, and Ninjor. There's the evil duplicate rangers as well. So as you can see, they're encompassing quite a lot, including Bulk and Skull. Another variant for number 25 is going to be Lord Dracone holding each helmet of the Power Rangers that is damaged. These are going to be put in bags so that you cannot see which helmet you are going to be buying. Here's an image that they are using to advertise this. Um, I could easily see the bag looking like this. Comic book number 26 has a large amount of variants that were just announced today. Here is a Pink Time Force, and like I stated earlier, due to the fact that the Pink Time Force has our own variant, I believe that she's going to play a large role, or the Time Force team as a whole is going to play a large role in um, this event. In addition to this, you can see the Alien Rangers with their Zords behind them. as well as a group of Red Rangers that span across the series. And finally we have the annual number one, which has the yellow MMPR, the red RPM, the pink SPD, the blue Space Ranger, and the gold Zeo. It will be interesting to see if the gold Ranger is going to be Jason or if it's going to be tray. And finally we have another variant for annual number one and you can see the pink time force in the center there with Doggy Kruger in the background as well as Lord Dracone and the Red Samurai. Again another reason why I speculate that time force is going to play a large role in this. And down the bottom you can see the Dino Charge Ranger, there's an RPM Ranger, I believe that's black, there's a yellow space, gold and blue space, as well as various megazords in the background. 
So like I said earlier, I predict that the Time Force Rangers are going to play a large role in this, especially since Jen is getting her own variant cover. Although this is a rather simple storyline, comic books tend to work that way. We also are only receiving a synopsis, so there could be more to this. But the general premise of Lord Dracone going and destroying the Morphing Grid is something rather simple, yet significant to the Power Ranger universe. And I think this is a great way to celebrate the 25th anniversary of Power Rangers, especially by bringing together all of the Rangers from all of the seasons. Now, what would really be cool is if we saw some of the Hyper Force Rangers in here as well. As always, thanks for watching, and remember, be excellent to each other.